Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have one of the weirdest and now strangest and possibly one of maybe the coolest, depending on, I guess, your perspective, when it comes to marketing promotions and easy ways to go get a PlayStation 5. Now, I'm sure if you guys are subscribed to my channel or just in the general sense, you guys could probably know that it's kind of a little harder to go get a console, you know, the Xbox or PlayStation. They have bundles, they have occasional deals you can buy from scalpers or whatever it is. But uh, one of the newest ways is, would you want to go and spend like $50,000 for one of the most expensive and crazy and almost somewhat unneeded and unnecessary, but kind of cool, nonetheless, way that actually I'm sure some folks actually will probably be taking advantage of, way to go get a console. So um, this is going to be kind of a cool promotion for when it comes to Gran Turismo 7. As you guys know, it's coming out in the next few weeks. We even covered up some marketing stuff in my previous video talking about Horizon and all that stuff. So check that out now if you guys missed it. But basically, we have a really cool and intriguing deal. So let's go and talk about it. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, a digital console controller. We have the Samsung SSDs down below currently on sale. So click on those and check them on out. The Twitter Twitch room, as I mentioned, of course, the Weevil and the Coinbase and all that good stuff down below. So, as I'm kind of alluding towards in this video itself, there's a very, very intriguing deal going on that's a little bit maybe outside of most people, if not pretty much probably everyone's budget out there. But it's a nice little bonus if you guys want to go talk about it. So, we've seen some bundles out here, boys, that have been like $1,500 bundles. We've seen actually some PlayStation 5 and Xbox bundles. We've seen some bundles where literally you're going and buying a PS4 and PS5 for like $1,300, which is even what's going on there. But now we even have a bigger deal in regards to Toyota, the big old good card company out there that is actually having a new way to go find probably the most expensive bundle out there of the PS5 and also in combination with Gran Turismo 2 as well where you basically have to go and buy a car <laughs> so that was a little fun a little goofy video to wind down the night for it and basically if it kind of as the article states are you guys excited for Gran Turismo 7? Have a PlayStation 5? And I'm going to play to people reading this uh, answer to two questions in probably alternate ways probably even for my own YouTube audience Twitter audience whatever particularly saying the yes Followed by no. And I'm actually a big car guy, so I'll probably actually be checking out Gran Tours myself, especially up on the Twitch stream. But uh, a lot of folks out there still are having issues trying to find and get their PlayStation 5s. So, uh, yeah, if you somehow have both of these brand new cars and a PS5, I guess you're probably doing better than most of us. But if not, we have this new intriguing way from Sony. So Sony now has a new strategy to get consoles out there to people who have been wanting them. You literally buy a car <laughs> and i wish i was joking i wish i was memeing i wish this was not an actual promotion but you literally just go buy a car and not just literally any car but if you buy the special edition of the five door toyota yaris with base the 1.5 liter hybrid power chain turning on the speculation 125 brake horsepower also no deals a three-year warranty no drive house and that a zero percent interest rate for the first three years so I'm trying to go practice on my car commercial <laughs> deals over here. You basically have a chance to go get a combination with the PlayStation 5. So it's called the Yaris GR Sport GT 7 Edition. So obviously, Gran Turismo 7 Edition. And it actually comes with the retail PlayStation 5, a second controller, and a copy of the upcoming installment of the Real Driving Simulator. So in case you know, just playing Flight Simulator wasn't enough for you guys, you can now basically go do Driving Simulator with your PlayStation 5 after you literally just bought a car that you literally don't even need to have a simulator for in the first place because you can literally just go and drive your car. You don't put on the keys and just kind of go. <laughs> so apparently as of right now, there isn't a major, major deal when it comes to the United States, which is in terms of like the weirdness and the goofiness of the news. Uh, basically... It's just weird. Cause, I mean, obviously the Toyota doesn't go and sell the Yaris over here too, but the car does look nice. You know, I was gonna say, what do you guys think over this one, boys? For a nice little, like the good old, <laughs> this almost kind of looks like a random Gran Turismo render. If you really go and ask me, maybe an honest to God body actually even be like <laughs> at this point, at this point, when it comes to these car games, they always look so realistic. Like it's kind of like their big push to make it hyper realistic. At this point, I could even tell if it was or wasn't. And I honestly couldn't even go and tell you guys. So we actually have the tweet over here too as well. We're just basically saying, like, you know, hey, if you guys go get a play, uh, PlayStation 5, you guys also get a nice little car, this nice little pack over here, too, as well. For the next few weeks, you have a chance to go get a nice little console with all these. These are actually looking like some nice little spiffy cars over here. So the great irony of how funny enough this one for the tie-in is that we all know Toyota makes a more exciting version of the Yaris that's actually deserving of the GT7 branding. But it's not the hatch that is obviously the honors here, which is kind of funny. Like, I feel like if I was trying to go and sell some fancy cars and try to make them look and feel kind of cool, I'd be like, dude, I'd be throwing up a Lambo in that. Like, you go buy a Lambo, you get a free PlayStation 5. You get like a like a GTR or something like that, you're wrong with it, you know? Like, this would, those are the cars I would be time to go and try to pick. 
So based on this one on a certain level, they can basically understand this because the GR Yaris is pricey and exclusive and basically can sell more cards to the sort of the younger folks that might be swayed for a partnership like this. Although I, I feel like for me, if I'm ever buying a car, I'm not usually swayed if I get a console. It is nice. Like you get like some like, you know, Sirius XM thrown on in. You get some like maybe like some nice warranties. Maybe get like, you know, I don't know, like some, some nice airbag replacements every now and then. Give me some free tire rotations. I don't know. Uh, PlayStation 5 is still a nice benefit. But at the end of the day, the car dealership is still making money off you. So it's kind of like what I, I'd rather have the car maybe like for 700 bucks cheaper, you know, if I had to pick and choose on this one. So at least for some of the Grand Turismo ones part of uh, account trends. For the treble and they're just basically not even present on the car funny enough so even though they're doing like a big combination and including consoles with it and a partnership with it there's not even like any type of like a cool ps5 logo which i'm not really sure if that would actually add value to your car or lower the value because i mean i'm a big console fanboy i mean i've been making videos i'm streaming on twitch all the time talking about video games talking about acquisitions and you're getting excited for horizon tomorrow and uh, even I would kind of be like, why is there a Sony sticker? Why is there a PlayStation 5 sticker on my car? I, I'm more of a minimistic guy. You guess probably even go tell about my, like, my hoodie. I'm literally wearing an all, all black hoodie on it. So I uh, just let you guys know for that one. So it doesn't even really appear so much. There's even the badge in the back. And all you get are a tiny looking decals and the front quarter panels, which look really perspective to on top of that as well. And these pictures bear a suspicious resemblance to Toyota's earlier media of the Yaris GR Sport with a little GTA just photoshopped in a different text on the place too as well. So basically like, it's kind of crazy. The tiny decal isn't the only change. Only knows the Grand Chaser one uh, lacks rear parking sensors, basically to perhaps the, maybe the 10th of the cost of a PS5, which uh, you can kind of tell the article is just kind of just dogging on this too as well. And although you might have like a cool number plate that's also clearly not photoshopped as well on top of that, you can also go look at the arrows they put here to in well, as well. So like it's kind of just a goof all thing where it is kind of a weird partnership and probably honestly one of like the more expensive bundles out here. It's like, it even throws it off for me, but basically it isn't even in the Grand Turismo 791's knowledge as of yet, uh, because the better GR Yaris already is. So if you guys were to buy the car, you wouldn't even get like the Steelbook edition of the game too, that comes, you know, with the soundtrack and all of that. You just basically go get the standard edition, which I mean, if you're literally buying a car, they should at least be throwing on the collector's edition mixed on it. You, you know what I mean, boys? You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, basically you just can't go into Best Buy, Walmart, Target to get your console. But if you guys ever want to go and splurge and go and finance on a car, you guys might be able to go and do it. So this is honest to God, probably one of the more expensive bundles out there and kind of more of the weirder promotions. And I guess kind of the big question for all of you guys as we kind of wind down the video, is this something that you guys yourselves would literally like, would this like sway you over the edge? I think if it was really the same exact price point, very, very similar car. I can get a PlayStation tied on in for the extra bit of money. It may be able to go and sway me a oh, very big, maybe, maybe. But when it comes to that stuff, I feel like if I'm buying a car, I'm buying a house, I'm buying a boat, I'm trying to buy a truck, whatever it is, something expensive, I care more about just making sure it works and I'm getting a good deal on the car and I'd rather go and save the extra 500, 600, 800 bucks, whatever this bundle would be for, you know, for the retail pricing. Then, uh, you know, I'd rather just have that off the car so I could just go and save some money. And if I want to buy one in the future, I'll buy one in the future and they're easy to go buy. You know, you know what I mean? So kind of give me your thoughts and comments on this. Is this a dumb marketing promotion? Is this a cool marketing promotion? And like I said, I feel like if there's just like a bonus just thrown on on top, I think it's kind of neat, kind of cool. And as well, if you guys are going to be checking out Horizon, as I mentioned, leave your thoughts and comments down below. I can't wait to play that up on Twitch. Make sure you guys are following me up on Twitch down below if you guys want. And as well, probably get on some like little reviews and videos on it as of tomorrow. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on for that as well make sure you guys are subscribed for our ps5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc disc gold console and controller we have the narrative ssds down below so make sure you guys go check out the ssds and click on those the twitter and twitch streams as well on top of that and sign up for that weeble deposit 100 dollars get a bunch of free stack free money come that coinbase too as well and uh hopefully if you guys go buy a car send me some pictures because i want to go and see your playstation 5 inside of it we have like well more a lot more videos and restocks and stuff all tomorrow so be on the lookout for that and i'll see you guys whenever i see you guys next and guys don't forget Go and buy, preload your uh, Horizon if you guys are going to go check that out tomorrow. Or make sure you guys go and download it before you guys go off to work and go off to sleep. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Can't wait to play it tomorrow. And I'll see you guys all later on. Love you guys.